New at 11, Palm Springs City officials held a ribbon cutting for the brand new playground at DeMuth Park. It's the first upgrade this playground has had in 30 years. News Channel 3 Story King live in studio with details on the design process and the equipment chosen to make the park more inclusive. Tori. Yes, very exciting for all the kids and the community. This park is not just brand new, it's actually ADA compliant. City leaders that I spoke with at today's big unveiling say inclusivity was at the very center of the decision making process while this park was being designed. And that's because they say that kids of all ages and abilities should be able to enjoy recreation spaces around the city. This new park is just the beginning. Mayor Jeffrey Bernstein tells me the city has several projects in the pipeline that are going to fill a major need for the area. Three, two, one. Woo! The city of Palm Springs just unveiled its latest project, a major playground expansion at Demuth Park. My favorite part of the, of the park is the playground. I really like the um, obstacle course. I love it, yes, it's so much fun. The new playground was a project years in the making, and city leaders say it's a change that was desperately needed. This has been a long time coming. Our parks were quite old, and this is actually one of the most amazing parks we have. The park hadn't had an upgrade in more than three decades, so this time around, the city wanted to make sure it would serve generations to come. It has full shade structures, so 218 kids can be under the shade, which is so important out here. We have a whole section called the Miracle Museum for two to five-year-olds. It also has specialized equipment so kids of all ages and abilities can have fun safely. From the different colors used on the equipment to the slides that they used on the project as well. Interactive walls and ADA compliant swings are just some of the upgrades added to the park to make it more inclusive. We have kids who have mobility issues or other types of disabilities uh, and neurodiversity is something that we're seeing more as a challenge for a lot of kids. So to have a place for them to come and play is so important. One mom who has a son with autism says she's grateful the city is building safe spaces for kids with disabilities. I love the shade. I would love some more light. I feel safe here. City Council members say a major criticism of the Coachella Valley is that there's a lack of recreation spaces for families and young children, which is why the city has committed to addressing and filling that need. Parents were reaching out to me about how important it was to make these investments for our kids and families. We do have a lot of young kids that live in our city and throughout the valley. A lot of tourists come here with children, whether they're just visiting with family or whether they're in a vacation rental. And so having things for the kids to do is really important. And the mayor says this is only the beginning. We have five playgrounds that are opened or in the works. We have new pickleball courts coming. We've started with turf conversion. We've improved our swim center. We've done recreation field lighting. Palm Springs and Coachella Valley kids deserve amazing playgrounds and so much more. And so we are making those investments. In addition to this new park, the Palm Springs Parks and Recreation Commission previewed its master plan draft during tonight's meeting. It's a blueprint for several projects and proposals that are planned for the city, and the commission wants your feedback to see some of their new proposals or to even submit an idea of your own. You can find a link on our website. Just go to KESQ.com. Live in studio, Tori King, News Channel 3.